Hello everyone. Let's continue to plot the uh, the VIL and v all the voltage levels that we have attained in this particular graph onto this particular scale. So what we are trying to get over here is we are trying to get the noise margins. So noise margin will basically define the input voltage range and the output voltage range and basically where your input voltage should lie and so on. Thing. So let's let's try to plot this and then and then it will make uh, more sense to look at, uh, to talk about uh, the noise margins. So first of all, let's just plot this particular curve. Let's forget about noise margins, the terms and all. Let's try to plot this particular voltage levels on this particular scale. Okay, so the first comes if you if you look into VOL, VIL, VIH, and VOH, the highest of it that we see over here will be will be VOH, and why so? Because we know that VOH will be greater than VIH, and and the reasons we discussed uh, discussed in the last video where we said that the VOH has to be always be greater than VIH, so as to be detected as logic one to the next stage of the input. Okay, so this particular inverter will be connected to some logic, okay, and the output high voltage which is which is present over here that should be somewhere greater than VIH so that the next stage will detect that particular voltage level as logic one, because any input voltage which gr lies greater than VIH will be detected as logic one, as and so VOH will be will be greater than VIH. So let's and 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 which makes it very close to VDD. Okay, so let's plot VOH first. VOH lies somewhere over here, and and after VOH you have the next highest value, which is VIH. Okay, so let's plot the VIH over here. Next we have some we have some area over here which is which is undefined, which is there there is no voltage levels in this particular area, and then next voltage level that we have is directly the VIL. And again, why why the VIL and not VOL? Because of the same reason that VOL will be will be lying somewhere in this area, and the reason for that is the same. If this volt, if this particular inverter is connected to some other logic, the uh, the output voltage of this particular inverter should be somewhere less than VIL to be detected as logic zero by next stage. And and something which is less than VIL is VOL, the output low voltage, the lowest voltage which is present at the output of this particular inverter, should be less than VIL. And as a result of that, VIL will be greater than VOL, and it is the next voltage level after VIH which is present over here. If you go by a descending order, okay. So let's plot VIL over here, and the last one which is VOL. So now we have got some well-defined values over here. Since we have got some well-defined values, and this has to be this goes as a part of the specifications of a chip. Okay. So we have these well-defined values, and let's talk about the value which is get which we had have at the output. So this particular range, this particular range of the logic one will be called as noise margin high. So noise margin high says that any voltage level, whether it let it be present at the input or the output side, any voltage level which lies in the range of VIH and VOH will be detected as logic one, whether it be present at the input or at the output of the circuit. This is basically noise margin high. Next we have next we have the range which is present over here. For example, this one. So this says that NML is the noise margin low. It says any voltage level which lies in the range of VOL and VIL, it could be at the input or the output side, will be detected as logic zero. Okay, this is what noise margin low says. Okay, and noise margin high. The the equations for noise margin high and noise margin low are very simple. The noise margin high is nothing but the VOH minus VIH. The noise margin low is VIL minus VOL. Okay, so th so this is what the voltage level should be uh, uh, under an ideal condition. The the uh, the voltage levels can't be exactly equal to VDD or exactly equal to zero. There are there are power related there are power related issues there are crosstalk related issues so there should be a range there should be a certain range or and also if you see some bump for example as we'll be going further we'll be talking about bumps and all so as you see if if there are some bumps over here those bumps if they lie in this tolerable range so these are basically range which are which are tolerable to noise okay so if the bump levels we will be talking about more more of bumps in the in the upcoming videos but if the bumps lies in this range if the noise that is induced lies in this range or if the noise that is induced lies in this range it won't harm your circuit because it will be still detected as logic 1 or logic 0 without harming any of the functionality of your circuit so that's a margin that we have and that those kind of noises could be easily 
could be easily eliminated or could be easily ignored at that at that point of time okay so that's what we are going to uh, that's why this uh, particular topic of noise margin is pretty important because we will be determining the 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 voltage levels of the bump and based on the voltage levels of the bump will be we will be determining whether that particular bump is a uh, is a harmful bump or it's it's a one which can be ignored and other there are other factors also that deti that decides the noise for example there is the noise width and all those things we'll be learning about that in in the upcoming videos but this particular noise margin are the nothing but the tolerance levels of the noise this decides your tolerance levels of the noise so we have a chart based on the tolerance levels but before that if you see somewhere over here if you see this region between vih and vil this is nothing but the undefined region so any bump which will lie in this area the, that that will be that will be that will go into an undefined state which which says that it can be either logic 1 or or either logic 0 so with this particular with this particular scale the, the voltage level which is plotted in this particular scale with that scale in mind we have prepared a chart which will which will give a summary of noise margin so for example this was the scale it has got the noise margin high it has got the noise margin low and this is the voltage curve and noise margin high is nothing but VOH minus VIH noise margin low is nothing but VIL minus VOL and anything in this range so we have plotted this ranges over here which says that anything in this range will be determined as logic 1 anything in this range will be recognized as logic 0 and anything which lies over here will be an undefined region so by undefined region what will what we mean is this one so let's start with the low low bump first so for example if you have a bump in this area if the bump height lies in this particular area it's 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 not hazardous for us because it still lies in the range of logic 0 and your and your logic will be still kept as logic 0 it won't it, it won't harm the circuit that's what this particular bump means okay so there will be so we will be will be seeing this kind of bumps in the upcoming in the upcoming videos where are this kind of bumps getting created and all those things basically this is nothing but your glitch so glitch height if if it if it lies in the range and for example if there is a if there is a net that was very steady that was continuous at logic zero and due to some reasons it gets a glitch and if that particular glitch lies in this range it's still a safe glitch okay next if there is a glitch which is of this height if there is a bump which is of this height the, if the bump height lies in this undefined region then the as the name suggests it's undefined so we don't know whether it will go to logic one or it will come back to logic zero so basically it's an undefined region so these are basically unsafe glitches that we have and this 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 needs to be fixed okay and there's a third case where you have a bump which is pretty large and the and the bump height lies in the range of nmh in that case that will definitely go to logic one. that will be definitely treated as logic one and there are and there are other disadvantages of having it there are other harmful effects of having this height of bump and, the, and these kinds of bumps are the ones which need to be fixed okay so we have summarized the noise margin summary over here we have summarized everything about noise margin so now the the videos that will be coming that will be that will be uh, coming in the in the next hour or something those those videos will be mostly based on the noise margins that we have so basically this thing will uh, uh, is the first criteria that will decide whether a bump will be a safe bump or a glitch is a safe glitch or it's an unsafe glitch so before moving into the concept of glitch and crosstalk we'll we'll first of all identify the last reason that we have which was crosstalk uh, which was due to lower supply voltage leading to lesser noise margin so now when we discuss this discuss this particular reason for crosstalk and since we have already learned noise margins over here this will make more sense to understand so what we'll do since i'm already running out of time let's try to understand the crosstalk noise reasons of low, lower supply voltage in the next in the next video thank you